Welcome to Chef Alley's Farm Fresh Kitchen. Join us as we meet from the land of Kansas members and explore new recipes using local Kansas ingredients and products. <laughs> Good morning and welcome back to 13 News this morning. It's Thursday, therefore, we're here with Chef Alley in her Farm yep. Fresh Kitchen. Glad to be here. And it's an interesting combination that we're we're using to make cheesecake today. Ali, you brought your pressure cooker in and R2D2. I'm like, she said yes. she was making cheesecake today. Why is she bringing the pressure cooker in? Well, you know, I'm glad that you asked that because this little guy, you know, it's fairly small mm -hmm. in size. So this is the sling that you use to you lift used it, it to make a out of there. I did. I would, I would never make that up. And that's why I brought R2-D2. So, yeah, it's really cool. You can do that. It mm -hmm. only takes 10 minutes mm -hmm. in your pressure cooker, which, you know, this guy baked in the oven. That took an hour and 30 minutes. Wow. So that gives you an idea. Now, when I tasted this one this morning, I told you this earlier, Chris, when I tasted the texture of it, it was a little bit gritty, mm -hmm. which we don't want. We want creamy. Mm -hmm. So I did a little research on the science behind that and turns out that if you beat your cream cheese, before it's at room temperature, that's what makes your cheesecake gritty. So if you need to know that out there, there's a little tip I for totally you. I totally would have made that mistake. Let it come mm. to room temperature completely before you beat in your sugar. Okay. So we've got two different cheesecakes here, and we're featuring two different from the land of Kansas products this morning. We have Tanya's Toffee, which is what's all over the top of this one. Okay. She's from Modoc, Kansas. We also remember when we made the um, popcorn balls and we put her toffee mm -hmm. in there. That's that wonderful yeah. for the holidays yeah. too. And then of course we have have our prairie harvest pepper nuts which we put on top of our other uh, cheesecake and that's also what's in the crust and I know you loved that anise flavor in there anise as in black <laughs> licorice flavor it's delicious it was a surprise it was a surprise we'll say that I love mm -hmm. it and you know what the great thing about um, food is the is our universal language mm -hmm. of love we all know that and so um, at my house it's a rule now that you can't give anything unless you can eat it wear it or use it because mm -hmm. I've told my mother I don't want to dust anything mom I just want things I can use. So I think if you gave a gift like this, something really simplistic, people love it because it's practical. They're going to eat it. They'll use this year round. Um, and it's been really cool, you know, in traveling um, the world, no matter where I've been, and I, I know you travel a lot too, mm -hmm. when someone asks you where you're from, you can just say, when you say Kansas, you don't even need to precede that with the United States and then break it down. Mm -hmm. When you say Kansas, they think of the heartland, and so I think it's really special when we send people um, Kansas products Absolutely. for Christmas. Absolutely, and from the land of Kansas has made that very easy for us to yes. do that. Yes, it has. If you go to our marketplace, we have all kinds of different products, and not just food products. There's mm -hmm. a lot of specialty products, the mugs, the cutting boards, wonderful things. So all you have to do is go to shop.fromthelandofkansas.com. Choose what you want, and it will be at your loved one's front door before Christmas if you get on it here pretty quick. Absolutely, absolutely. Make it easy. And usually Stacy Mayo is here with us yeah. for this segment. Sadly, <laughs> she's not. She had a little couple teeth Some extracted. Dental so, work, um, yes. Get well, Stacy. We're thinking about you. We know that's not fun, nonetheless. Okay, uh, is there any incentive to go to your Facebook page? Yes, actually, thank you for saying that. Mm -hmm. There might be a family incentive. If Ooh. you go there, we may have something special there that your family needs to know about. So Never visit know. Chef Alley's Facebook page because I'd love for you to see that. And I'd love to taste this slow cooker Let's do cheesecake. It. Yeah. How interesting is that? And the recipe. You need this recipe mm -hmm. um, as well as both the recipes actually will be on my recipe blog, Chef Alley's Farm Fresh Kitchen .com. You can go there and get the recipe. Okay. You guys, you use this like a microwave, like I use a microwave versus the stove. You use yes. this rather than a crock pot, it's a pressure cooker. I got rid of my slow cooker because this has really changed. I've had this for a year now and it's changed the way we do dinner at our house. Yeah. Pressure cooker cheesecake, ladies and gentlemen. You saw it first here on 13 News this morning. <laughs> we'll be right back. Make sure to tune in the second and fourth Thursday of every month to meet more From the Land of Kansas members. Remember, visit FromTheLandOfKansas.com to explore and find Kansas foods, products, and services.